What's up everyone, Mark here with Blue Cloud, and today we're gonna to talk about emojis, specifically with the Google Store and Gboard app. Um, this is really exciting. Google announced that they're allowing third-party developers, I believe it was last September or August, uh, where we can now develop and have our sticker packs published on the Gboard sticker collection store. So there are millions of users out there all looking for stickers, and there's literally zero competition. I think there's a, around 26 sticker packs right now available on the Gboard sticker store. So we have millions of users out there, brand new opportunity, brand new marketplace, and literally hardly any, any competition. So it's a great time to be an emoji developer and to get more exposure to your apps. If you don't have any apps current on the app store, I do not recommend jumping straight to Gboard. First, go through uh, the iOS store, go through the Android store, and then make the jump to Gboard. Um, the reason being is because you want to have your app as dialed and optimized as possible before going into this marketplace. So uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about what Gboard is, what the Gboard store is, why it's important, and how you can get your emoji sticker packs added to the store. Also my experience and what I personally did to get uh, my app within, to be one of the first 25 apps published in the Gboard store. So let's get started. I've got a wonderful new blog post here we just published. And I'll start with talking about what the heck is Gboard? What is the Gboard sticker collection store? <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Um, so essentially this is Google's flagship app. It's a keyboard app and it has everything that you need all under one roof. So instead of having to go back and forth between 15 emoji packs, if you have a dog emoji and a parrot emoji and a hamster emoji, all separate apps, Gboard allows all of those stickers under the roof of one app, which is great for us developers. It's also great for the user because they can easily search and find sticker packs within the Gboard app. So it's a whole new search engine, a whole new marketplace for us to uh, get more exposure to our, to our apps. Uh, we can also search for individual stickers within the Gboard app. So if you have a talking banana sticker. You can type in talking banana in the Gboard app. It'll actually toggle that specific emoji for you, making it a lot, little bit easier, easier for users to search for specific emojis. Um, another great feature that the Gboard offers is for Android features. Android has over 10,000 devices, so many devices, so many operating systems, and it gets really difficult for all of us uh, developers to develop for each device. Gboard helps to solve that problem for about 99% of the Android devices. And what it does is usually with, with several of the older Samsung devices, older Android devices, it's a pain in the butt to toggle these emoji keyboards. You have to go out of the app, you have to go into settings, and you have to toggle the emoji keyboard not just once, but every single time you use or you want to use your emoji keyboard. So it's a pain in the butt and the Gboard helps solve that by making it really easy to just go into the app, open it and have immediate access to all of these sticker packs. So again, like hands down to Gboard, great place uh, to help users with any device out there. Let's go a little bit further and talk about um, why you should develop for Gboard, why this is important to you, will you make money, um, is now the right time for you to jump into this new marketplace? And the answer is yes, strictly because of the competition. There is currently, as of today, 26 apps featured on the Gboard app store. They have their own personal store for their users. Again, they have tens of millions of users and only 26 apps. So it's a great place to be first. One of my mottos in this business is be, you have to either be first or be the best. And right now is your opportunity to be first. That being said, if you were to publish your, your app right now in the Gboard store, are you going to become a millionaire? Are you going to be making 10x your, your current income on your emoji apps? The answer is probably not. And the reason being is because people are still figuring out how to use this new technology. Um, people are still figuring out how to find these, mo these emojis, how to uh, find the emoji store. And honestly, from my experience, Google just isn't quite there yet. They're still waiting to see what users are doing inside this app, inside this store, before pushing full throttle into making it accessible to everybody, and really promoting the heck out of this store. So um, from my experience with other platforms like Android and Apple, being first does help. We are rewarded by 
uh, investing in Apple and in Android over time. And you'll see that older apps do kind of get a leg up in this business as far as search indexing and rankings by the platform. So I have chosen to shake the dice and go to be one of the first among the Gboard store. And honestly, for my current projects, it has turned, it has turned a great profit for me. Uh, I've seen a 7% overall income increase in the last 30 days by adding my app to the Gboard store. So makes sense to me. Um, that's also as far as the Android income, there's a 21% of my Android income has been coming from the Gboard store. So yes, for me, it has made sense to invest in this. Uh, another takeaway is that this is cheap and easy to code for. Um, and it cost me around $500 in about a week to develop and was just a piece of cake to get developed. So it was a low risk as far as time and costs. I've also provided a link if you're interested in seeing what my template uh, that I use looks like. And if you wanna purchase it for yourself, if you don't wanna go through the week and a couple hundred bucks to develop your own code, you can purchase, purchase the one that I use for around $99. Again, there's also zero competition. As you can see here, um, as of today, there are 26 apps on the Gboard store. The one that I have is Sausage Moji. It's the cute little puppy with the heart uh, on the bottom there. So again, zero competition, and this is only gonna get more and more, uh, gain more and more traction and more, more and more popularity. I am already seeing some increases in my emoji apps, although it's small. I'm seeing about a 7% increase in my overall network, about 21% increase in my Android revenue, uh, strictly because of Gboard. So for me, it's worth it. Um, and again, I believe there is a huge opportunity in this new marketplace. Uh, as I talked about wild revenue patterns, it hasn't really been consistent yet, but I am seeing from week to week uh, revenue from 7% of my overall network to around 20% of my overall network coming from the Gboard store. So it is for, for the low risk price of, of what I paid for development work, um, being that I already have the assets that I used in my iOS code and my Android code, this is just a no brainer decision to put on the Gboard store. Um, also, Apple review. A lot of the emoji developers have noticed that they are seeing rejections due to too many emoji apps published under their network. Apple is being more and more strict. <clears throat> they want us to carment, carment, carment compartmentalize our emoji apps all into one app. So it's harder for us to gain more exposure by having multiple apps. It is possible, however, to have uh, multiple emoji apps in one network, in one app account, but you have to put in a lot of time customizing that code to making it unique and proving to Apple that this is a totally new and different experience than anything else on our develop developer account. With the Gboard and with Android, you don't have to worry about that. You can submit as many emoji apps as you want. To my knowledge, I've had up to uh, five to 10 in one account, haven't had no problems. And uh, you don't have to worry about Apple shutting you down or rejecting you or, or worrying that you're gonna be wasting time, money, and assets on emoji projects. So this makes it uh, a great opportunity to create multiple emoji projects and not have to worry about getting rejected by other platforms such as Apple. Um, that being said, this is brand new. We have been seeing some small, small glitches between the Gboard API and uh, IDEs, which are basically the softwares, software used to develop and submit codes, specifically Android Studio being the biggest one. Um, some small glitches have occurred, and this is just what happens with new technology and new marketplaces, and Android Studio is constantly updating the Gboard API is constantly updating and they're both trying to match each other, but sometimes there are small glitches. Uh, our app currently works perfectly, flawlessly, but we have submitted updates that have small glitches such as scrambled sticker, sticker order, blurry images, smaller loading screens, misplaced logos, and some stickers have even been deleted or, or overrided. So small bugs, again, this will solve itself as... Um, Google and Android Studio start working more and more closely together and collecting more data to fix these things. So to move forward to the three steps you need to follow to get your sticker pack added to the store. First thing is just coding requirements, going through the um, Google Play requirements for stickers and for apps and following everything, the image sizes. They also require for Gboard in integrating the Firebase app indexing API. That essentially just makes it so that your app and your emojis are indexed in Google so that when people are searching for your app within the Gboard, they can find you. Um, so once you have done the code work, again, it's super simple. I've included the two blogs that I personally used for research. You can see I have comments on there. These are the blogs that I sent to my code team. 
Um, after you have done the code work, step two is to publish to the Google Play Store. You need to have this app already approved and live in the Google Play Store before you can submit, submit it to uh, the Gboard uh, sticker store. So make sure that your app is live. And step three is submit a Gboard form that Google has put together for people who are interested in getting their sticker packs added to the Gboard app. So they have a really simple form. I've included it here. It just asks three questions. And once you submit that, they will review your app. And essentially, if you have the Firebase API, if your code is working and is of the quality that they are looking for, then they will approve you to the Gboard store. So really simple process. Um, however, I have found that through my experience, after following those three steps, I still was not approved, at least right away. It took me over a month to even get a response. Uh, I searched tons of forums and blogs and even contacted Google, hopped on the phone, sent emails, went on LinkedIn, went on social media, contacted everybody to get my app approved and it just wasn't happening. So I took two specific steps that really helped my app get approved. The first step was I just kept on submitting this form. Every day I would submit this form, send a link to my app, I would use the same email address, the ones linked to my developer account, and I would just say, hey, what is going on? I followed all of the steps. We have a launch plan in order. You know, I've got a kick-ass blog post I'm trying to, to release to inform people how to do this. Like, what can I do? What do you need for me to get this app in the Gboard store now? And every day I did this for weeks, not just for one week, but I think for four or five weeks, I resubmitted this, this form every day, right? So I wasn't trying to be nagging. I just wanted them to see that I was serious. I believed in my app and I wanted to be at the top of the list for apps that were approved. And I think in the last month or two, um, there's been maybe one or two other apps approved. So um, again, I, I recommend if, if you haven't heard a response from Google in a week or maybe two weeks, resubmit that form. Let them know that you're serious, that you want this to happen, that you want to provide value to this Gboard store, that you want to make it as best as possible, and that your app will help do that. Um, the second thing that you can do is contact somebody. If you have a contact in the Google developer uh, area, contact them. If you hop on the phone call, send an email. That really helps. I was finally given a response after, I mean, I emailed everybody, but finally one person responded who was associated to the Gboard area of Google. And he was eventually my secret ingredient to helping me expedite my app into getting approved. So I actually met a new contact, we talked, and he helped push my app forward. So if you have a contact, use it, email them. Um, if you don't have a contact, ask your friends, ask people on forums. <coughs> excuse me, one strategy is to go on LinkedIn and even search <coughs> for Google project managers, product managers, people associated with the Gboard or whatever area you're working on and find their email, message them and get in touch with them. So um, yes, to sum up, this is a huge opportunity. I am excited to see where this goes. It's not quite there yet, but slow and steady wins the race. And again, in order to be success successful in the app business and in is any business, you have to either one, be the best or be the first. So being that I'm one of the 26 apps live right now, um, we're collecting data, we're learning how we can maximize our, our revenue and our usage from this new platform. And as Gboard and the Gboard store continue to grow, we are gonna be there to capitalize on it first. Hope you learned a lot, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, if you're interested in learning more about uh, the Gboard, the submission process, if you're looking for my personal contact to, to Google, um, if you're if you're interested in the Gboard template that we have that we're promoting, let me know. Shoot us an email at support at bluecloudsolutions.com and we will get back to you.